Hello, how are you doing? Welcome back to another episode of Let's Learn PT, where today we're going to dive back into some pathology, pretty similar to the video I did talking about the differences between a slap tear and a bank heart lesion. But today we're going to be talking about two commonly affected ligaments in the knee joint. Um, so what we're going to talk about is the anterior crucial ligament, your ACL, versus your posterior crucial ligament, your PCL. So with the ACL, the ACL originates on the lateral femoral condyle, the lateral condyle of the base or the bottom of our hip or thigh bone, to the intercondylar area, meaning that it's running from that lateral condyle on the femur towards the intercondylar area right in between our menisci on the top of our tibia. So if we know it runs from the condyle down towards the middle of the tibia, we know that it inserts anteriorly and it prevents us from allowing our tibia to travel anteriorly on our femur. It prevents anterior translation of the tibia on the femur. So if we know that that's what it does, its purpose in our knee joint, then we need to get into what is the method of injury? How are people injuring this ligament during athletics or during functional activities? And typically it's a non-contact, meaning that nobody came in contact with the knee causing this hyperextension or rotational injury. Hyperextension meaning that the knee extended back past its anatomical limit and rotational injury meaning that the tibia and the femur were rotating in opposite directions causing a shear force on that ACL. So typically that rotational injury your toes are going to be facing out whereas your thigh bone is going to be facing in, meaning that it's an internal rotation while your toes and your tibia is an external rotation. So tibia and internal rot or external rotation, femur and internal rotation, causing that shear force and causing tearing of the ACL. So the final thing about the ACL is that it's poorly vascularized, meaning that there isn't a good blood supply to that ACL. So typically the route that a MD will pursue post ACL surgery is, or post ACL tear is surgery. And usually with that surgery, they utilize a patellar autograft. Just like an autobiography, an autograft is your own tissue being used to graft and replace another series of tissues elsewhere in the body. So they take it from your patellar tendon and they put it inside of your knee where the ACL previously was and use that to heal and reform your ACL. Whereas the PCL, the posterior crucial ligament, is the exact opposite. It goes from the medial femoral condyle, the inside, the medial side of our femur, our thigh bone, to the posterior aspect of the tibial plateau. So it goes from forward on the thigh bone to the back of the shin bone. So it's going to prevent us from translating that tibia backwards on the femur. And right here, provoke, prevents posterior translation. So what is the method of injury for that? The common method of injury for that is we have a fixed knee and we hit something on our tibia that forces our tibia backwards. So a real common way to injure this is a dashboard injury, meaning you're in a motor vehicle accident and you slide forward out of the seat and you hit your knee on the dashboard and you hit it at the tibia and it sends that tibia posterior tearing that PCL with how much force is involved in a motor vehicle accident. And another key difference between the PCL and the ACL is that the PCL is treated non-operatively a lot because it has a good vascularity. It is provided blood supply by the venicular artery. So that good vascularity, oftentimes you can treat PCL injuries or PCL tears non-operatively. So that's the difference between the ACL and the PCL. Um, they prevent translation of that tibia in different directions on the femur and provide us with knee stability. And because they have different roles as ligaments in the knee, they have different methods of injury and different series of vascularity, which results in a different surgical status.
So thank you guys for checking out the video. As always, I appreciate it. Like, subscribe, and I'll keep pumping out content for you.